Neil, um, a potentially really tough opponent in Jimmy Robertson, but you made light work of him, and, and given the way your season's gone, you must be really pleased with that performance especially. Yeah, it started, uh, well, after the Masters, I suppose. That was when I could, this was the first time I could really properly prepare for, because I um, got home just after, uh, from the Australia trip with not too much to spare for the Masters, but this one really well prepared. And uh, yeah, Jimmy's, um, yeah, tough, tough game because, you know, he's a tournament, you know, he's won a tournament before and it kind of seems like that these days where if you look at <clears throat> all the way down sort of the rankings now, it's like, you know, you're finding a lot of tournament winners, you know, ranked in sort of like, you know, 40s, 50s and 60s where, you know, once upon a time there's maybe only 20 people on tour who had actually won something, but now it seems like, you know, there's an awful lot that I have. And so, uh, you just have to commit yourself that you've got to play at your best to win these days. You know, there's no more sort of cruising into quarterfinals anymore. I think that's been pretty evident. Um, of, of, you know, the last sort of like two or three years, you know, a lot of tournaments where we see big seeds go out early and people think, oh, what's happened there? But if you sort of have a look at the people they're playing, they're people who've got a really good sort of pedigree in the sport. So, um, yeah, it makes competition really tough, but it's, it's great for the sport that we've got so many people that, that are top quality players. And, um, you know, Jimmy's someone who's capable of reeling off two or three frames pretty quickly. So, um, yeah, it was good to get off to a good start today and scored very heavily. You know, could, could have quite easily had four centuries today. So, um, yeah, really pleased with the win. And in terms of where you are, you spoke, as you say, you spoke before Christmas about how important that reset and that trip mm. back to Australia was and, you know, being able to go back home and kind of get rid of the sort of homesickness side of things. How, how do you feel now? Do you now feel you know, a lot more comfortable with, with yourself on the table and, and, and off it in terms of the rest yeah, of the Yeah, I mean, it, you know, no excuses or anything like that. Like, sort of missing Australia wasn't the reason why I was losing. You know, it, it, it sort of can impact the way that you kind of feel or whatever when things aren't going well. But ultimately, you know, have I been doing everything that I can to make sure I get the best performances out of myself? And I'd probably have to look at and say that the season I had 18 months ago where I you know, cleaned up, won four major tournaments and just, you know, had an unbelievable season. Probably following from that, I got a bit lazy, put on weight. You probably wouldn't have seen it, but if I put on even just a kilo or two, it makes a massive difference to how I feel in my waistcoat and everything. Um, you know, in the UK, in the Masters especially, it was like, you know, I could barely breathe in my waistcoat and I'm not gonna go to a tailor and have it made bigger. I'm gonna have to lose the weight, you know, even if I have to struggle. Um, in a match, I'm going to force myself to lose the weight and get back to being sort of really lean and feel really good. And, and that's what I've been able to do the last couple of weeks, which has been really good. And, you know, I uh, don't want to sort of dwell on the results too much, but what it has done, it's inspired me to become a better player than what I ever have been before. The things that I'm doing now is going to pay off over the next few months. I'm convinced of that. And um, what I'm doing is like absolute sacrifice for the sport. Yeah, I mean, as someone who is used to being a dominant player on the tour and, and one of the guys who are you know, winning week in, week out, how, has it, how difficult has it been? Has this been your, your hardest season on the table in terms of with the, the results you've had? Yeah, it's been frustrating as anything, yeah, for sure. But it's, what, it, what it's done is that you can either sort of feel sorry for yourself or you can sort of like, OK, am I doing absolutely everything possible to make sure that I'm going to squeeze that extra 5% out of a performance. And so now I am doing that. So um, where I think you can get very comfortable and complacent when you're just sort of like cruising into the last 16 quarterfinals with your opponents falling over the line. I think probably seen that with Ronnie recently where he's, let's have it right, he's played pretty awful. <laughs> but he's been able to just keep winning because people just keep missing blacks off the spots, pinks off the spots. And he's gained that reputation of, of being sort of at the moment uh, unbeatable this season, even though he's, he's played awful. And he's almost like, he's even talked about it himself, he's almost laughing about it, you know, people just can't put him away. So that has sort of gone for me now where people are putting me away if I'm not playing well. And so I just have to play well. I'm not, I'm not focused on if my opponents are playing the match of their life. If they're playing the match of their life, then I've done something wrong. So I'm just really focused on getting the best out of my performances and controlling everything I can do which is really super hard work, eating well, sleeping well, you know, yeah, diet, uh, physical exercise, just every, I'm, I'm, there's absolutely no stone that's gonna be unturned for, from now until the rest of the season.
And in that quest, if you can find what you deem to be your very top form again this season, how satisfying will that be given where you've come from? That, I'm sure. Yeah, it'd be a good story. Like it would be, you know, the things that I'm doing, I'm sort of, you know, keeping track of and that to make sure that I never go back into that situation ever again, because, you know, it's very easily done. You know, you just take your eye off the ball for just a moment and you can't just like, oh, I'm just going to start winning now. You know, that's what I... This season, I was like, okay, I'm going to practice hard. I'm just going to start winning again. It's not like that. All of a sudden, your opponents think, oh, maybe he's not playing so well or whatever, and then they raise their game. But, you know, I, I need to, you know, put everyone down. You know, I think that's like 10 consecutive frames I've won in a row now. I need to get back to being, you know, brutal and just burying opponents into the ground. That's what, you know, there's no more happy, smiley handshakes anymore. You know, I want the worst for my opponent on the table. Away from it, no problem. But on the table, I, I want them to suffer. So that's what I'm going to get back to. We've well, made a very good start with that quest this week. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, mate.